In this video, I'm going to talk about 3D printing and product design. We'll talk briefly about what is 3D printing, then dive deeper into how 3D printing can help you in your product development endeavor. If I am to guess correctly, you have probably heard about the term 3D printing before. You might have also heard the term additive manufacturing. If not, you can just think about them the same way. The term additive manufacturing only makes sense when contrasted with its more traditional counterpart, subtractive manufacturing. In subtractive manufacturing, you start with a lot of material, a big chunk of it, then you would remove from it until you reach your final product. For example, you can start with an aluminum block, then use a CNC machine to remove materials until you get a laptop chassis. Or you can start with a sheet metal, then cut and form it to end up with a support bracket. In contrast, in additive manufacturing, you would start with an empty canvas, then start adding materials to end up with your final product. For example, you would start with a blank canvas, then add layers to end up with a laptop chassis, or a support bracket, or a turbine blade. This is how 3D printing works as an additive manufacturing process. At this point in time, additive manufacturing has reached a good level of maturity with a wide range of technologies. However, most of the technologies are more common for industrial use due to the machine's high cost and the required space, maintenance, and expertise to operate them. However, they mostly work using the same concept by adding layers of materials and solidifying them to form a final shape. Materials can range from plastics, metals, paper, wax, sand, composites. For example, here is a picture of a 3D printed metal and pillar. If you are a small company or working from home, most likely you would interact with a consumer level 3D printer. The most common technologies for those are fused deposition modeling, FDM, which is the most common, and stellarithography, SLA. The rest of the 3D printing technologies have mostly remained confined to industrial use. This does not mean that you cannot use them as a small business. It just means that you are more likely to outsource these printing jobs to more specialized prototyping facilities. We put together a map of the different 3D printing processes and major technologies. You can download the map from the link you'll find in the description of this video. Now, Let's talk more in depth about 3D printing and product design. As of now, product design applications represent the most prominent usage of 3D printing. This is both in the product development stage and the product production stage. Let's talk briefly about how 3D printing can help in those two stages. We will start with the product development stage. Within the product development stage, 3D printing can give you three main advantages. First, it can accelerate time to market. 3D printing enables you to manufacture products in demand instantly. Thus, the testing process is much quicker as you will quickly test and inspect iterations on a daily basis. Overall, this will decrease the time it takes to get to market, which can be a good advantage for you. Second, it can make your product development cycle cheaper. This in part relates to the first point as well. Both less time and rapid testing end up resulting in a cheaper product development cycle. Also, producing a small number of testing prototypes units with 3D printing is generally cheaper than conventional methods. Third, you can meet customers' or users' demands in a better way. If you are designing and producing products for clients, rapid prototyping and testing will enable you to have more thoughtful discussions with your customers about the product at hand. This will naturally allow you to meet their needs in a better way. So those were three main points how 3D printing can help in the development stage. Now let's talk about the production stage. In the product production stage, 3D printing has two main advantages. Being able to produce custom products and being able to produce complex geometries. Let's talk about custom products first. 
3D printing enables you to produce unique, custom products on a small scale. For plastic-based applications, injection molding is the traditional counterpart for 3D printing. Both methods can produce plastic products, but the cost models are very different. To explain this, let's look at a graph. 3D printing has a fixed cost per unit, while injection molding has a variant cost per unit that decreases the more you produce a product. This makes 3D printing great for creating custom products on a smaller scale. This is because it can be cheaper. It can also be because it will enable you to produce a different customized version of your product for every individual while keeping the whole thing economical. This is for the custom products part. Let's talk about complex geometries. 3D printing enables you to produce products that are not possible with traditional methods. This can be especially the case with metal products where their traditional counterpart is subtractive manufacturing. Due to its nature, 3D printing technologies can enable the creation of internal structures that are otherwise impossible to make with traditional methods. For example, here is a picture of a metal mesh that is only possible thanks to 3D printing. All the topics we talked about here in this video represent a small brief how 3D printing can be useful in product design practices. The scope of 3D printing is, of course, much wider than what we talked about in this video. Beside the direct product design applications, 3D printing can bring lots of unique advantages in other technical areas like supply chain and tooling. So regardless of which area you're working in, you should keep an eye on 3D printing and the ways it can support your business. If you would like to gain in-depth knowledge of 3D printing and how it can add value to different areas and businesses, we have a program designed just for that. The program is called 3D Printing Opportunities and Applications. The program includes lots of videos, readings, and exercises. The best part is that if you have questions or doubts about the topic, we will have experts to support you. We will have a link for that program in the description for you to check out. Back to you now. Have you interacted with 3D printing or additive manufacturing before? What technology have you worked with and what did you do with it? Let us know in the comment section where we can have a little discussion.